Hello guys, it's Ray J and in this video I will be overviewing Wonderfox HD Video Converter. So straight off the bat, Wonderfox allows you to convert any common video format to another with total ease. It's always up to date and it even currently has the option to format to the iPhone X video format that will be compatible with the device. I find this great as it is always excellent to have a software that is frequently updated. So many programs fall behind with keeping up with latest trends, technologies and formats. So it is great to see that Wonderfox has the latest resolutions and formats. It's really easy to get hold of too. Go to their website via the link in the description and you're going to be able to download a free trial to see what you think of the program. If you're considering buying the product, the price rate is $29.95 for a year, $34.95 for a lifetime and currently at the moment there is a 50% deal on this one as it is the 2018 New Year Deal Special Edition. So not only do you get the 50% off, you also do get DVD Ripper Pro for free. So I think that's pretty good. So finally you have $59.95 for the family pack with a lifetime license. So you'll also be able to use this of up to three machines and this is also reduced in price. I think it's pretty obvious which is the best choice to go for as it is going to be the offer that includes the free product. However, if you do intend to use the software on more than one machine, then I would probably recommend the family pack as it allows you to have more than one. Again, I will include a link in the description of where you can get the trial and to download it, so please do check it out. Now unfortunately, HD Video Converter is only available for Windows, so this means no Mac or Linux compatibility. Other applications like DVD Ripper are available for Mac and Windows, but that's about it, unfortunately. Alright, so moving on, I had a quick go at converting some footage. Now for this test, I pulled out one of my videos that I've recently recorded and uploaded to my channel. As you can see, it's pretty easy to get a file to convert, however I did have an issue that I wasn't able to drag and drop the file, so I'm not really sure why this is, but before I make full comments, I will leave a detailed report in my review of this software in a later video. Instead, I was able to pick a file and select it ready for conversion using the file menu. Selecting a format couldn't be any easier, and Wonderfox does this really, really well. It also has a great user interface. It's simple to use and anyone can understand how it works, in my opinion. It not only handles well, but it looks aesthetically pleasing too, which is a fairly important factor for me. So I decided to convert the footage into a few different formats, and it was fairly fast. Now currently, converting some videos can actually take some time. An example of this is converting it to the new iPhone X format. However, this software does boast that you are able to convert fast. I wondered why, and I had a look around, and it seems the best option is to prioritize the CPU to the program so that it can help encode faster by giving it more cores and threads essentially. It's also worth noting that you can use the GPU to accelerate. This is pretty similar to video editing software such as Adobe Premiere, which allows you to reduce render time whilst using the GPU. So in Wonderfox, it will use your GPU to help push the converting time down, especially if you have a high-end GPU. Now currently in the machine I'm using, there is only an NVIDIA GT220, so it won't really do much at all because it's quite a low-end card. However, on my main rig, I have the Vega 64, so I'm going to be testing this out properly in my full review. Next, I had a go at downloading some of my videos from my channel, as the program also offers video downloads from sites such as YouTube and Vimeo. Whilst downloading, I did actually encounter a few issues with this. I was only able to download in 720p, anything higher just gave me a failed download literally every time, which was pretty frustrating. Apart from this, the downloads were quick, looked great, and were significantly a small size. But I wouldn't try downloading in anything higher because honestly, it seems like you get a failed every time. I mean, go ahead and try it out because this is not my full review. There may be a resolution to this problem as it is a bit weird that I'm only able to download in 720. So like I said in the full review, I will be testing this out properly. So this has been my overview and how to get the software. Again, if you are interested to learn more about the software, give it a trial or maybe even buy it. So you can do this by checking the link in my description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more tech related content each week. Have a great day guys, this has been a Ray J.